2022 was one heck of a year and we did a lot and that's what we're going to talk about in this video as well as some of the things that we're doing looking forward into 2023 as well as a fun little extra thing at the end of the video. So let's just jump right into it. I think the first thing that was really important for 2022 was hiring Grace to operate cameras, edit videos, and handle all of our content management. We also sold our Sprinter and kind of closed that chapter of Explorer's Life. We started our transit build that you've been watching all year. We hired Chad as our warehouse manager and that has been amazing for getting some stuff off of our place. No more waking up at 3.45 to fulfill orders, that's nice. <laughs> we worked with Unaka Gear Co. to come up with a roof rack uh, for the custom solar panels that we worked with Rich Solar with uh, so that we could maximize solar potential on top of our transit. I officially closed Portage Consulting and am fully back into Explorers Life full time. We went to Open Roads Fest and diagnosed system issues and taught a ton about solar and met a lot of really cool people. We moved into a much bigger warehouse and moved um, our shop out of uh this space and we were able to use this space for this new studio we built the electrical system in the transit uh, we got to use the new battleborn gc3 batteries which is the first time we've actually like used those in a system and it turned out really good with all of that new space in our warehouse we were able to quadruple our product lines and offer more solutions to you guys we took a vacation uh, our first one in like two and a half years so that was nice <laughs> We launched our certified installer network. And we also worked on our work-life balance. Uh, we're still getting up really early and working really hard, but we also took a lot of time to ride bikes and ride horses. Uh, Steph bought a horse, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, it's December right now, and so we've already been snow skiing quite a bit. So we worked on our work-life balance. Uh, so we did a lot in 2022, but here are our plans looking forward into 2023. We're going to be starting off 2023 by finishing up our Ford Transit, and we've got a few more projects left on that, like the plumbing enclosure, uh, the kitchen module, and all of our furniture modules. And for the rest of 2023, instead of doing one full build for the rest of 2023, we're going to do like basically six mini series, and those are going to revolve around electrical upgrades on OEM RVs. So we're going to do a full electrical install on a Class A motorhome a fifth wheel or toy hauler, a class C motorhome, a travel trailer, a truck camper. And then we're also going to have a DIY portable box build off between everybody here at the team, which I think will be fun and Stephanie's not going to win. Rude. <laughs> so those are our plans for 2023. Now to wrap up this video and uh, do something a little bit fun, since we've hired two people, uh, it's been really fun to have more people around the shop. Uh, you know, you get more people around the shop, everybody's talking, and so this is the first annual uh, shit heard around the shop section of Explorer's Life. So, let's get into it. <laughs> Those are like shoes for people who don't know what feet are. <laughs> if you jiggle it the wrong way, you're going to get stabbed. Those get rehomed to hell. I took a picture of its poop too. Gonna do some Googling. <laughs> I do remember that. I remember that one. It's coyote poop. <laughs> the poop does not belong to the skull. This I have determined by science. We're going on a horse hunt. You smell like adventure. I need a cup of coffee for my eyeballs. I'm not stuck. I'm delayed. There are no good solutions for pooping. Your dad's a freak. I can't shake that Laffy Taffy and laminate stuff at the same time. You can be nice and still rob a bank. Did you get that poop photo I sent you? <laughs> I don't mind butt toast, but don't really prefer butt sandwiches. We specialize in shit show. Where'd your teeth go? It's another poop one. No, it's actually less <laughs> funny and more philosophical. Don't invest in future garbage. Nate, bulls are not horses. False, ass. <laughs> Is that a statement? It was false, ass. False, ass. <laughs> Why can't you say this one on camera? <laughs> Shouldn't have said it in real life. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't do it on camera. Nope. Nope. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so Chad's kind of quiet, so he didn't have a whole lot of um, you know quotes on the list. Uh, but during his end of year review, uh, we had a question for uh, both Grace and Chad. It was. Uh, tell us of a time that you felt like you were treated unfairly at work. And Chad, on his time that he felt treated unfairly, was that uh, we gave Grace the last bottle of hot sauce, and that was what he felt was untreated fairly. So, uh, Chad, you can come back in. The team got you a, a Christmas present. Awesome. A year supply of mule sauce? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stacks. So, thanks to everybody for being a part of our 2022. We're excited for 2023 and hope you'll stick around. So, Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time.